All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ahava, Kachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. Shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I'm your brother, Mashiach Arazaka, from the Servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, pretty much this lesson uh, is going to be titled as Famine of Food. All right. Um, you know, this is what I titled it as. But, um, you know, it's titled as Earth Only Has a Three-Month Food Supply. Um, prices is basically, basically pretty much rising up and the shelves are going more emptier and emptier as the minute. And, um, Dabu7 just did this lesson. I'm going to play the video right now and then we're going to get, uh, some scriptures out and we're going to look up some stuff. So, uh, low wellness less is edifying, but let's start the video. We're moving closer and closer to a time when many people out there are going to struggle to get something to eat. It may seem far-fetched for some that can walk into a store right now and see that it's loaded. But many people, believe it or not, are walking in the stores and they're seeing shelves get cleared out. They're also noticing that even if the shelves are not getting cleared out, that the prices are going through the roof. And this is because the power of the dollar is eroding. It's disappearing. And it's all by design. We just witnessed how Walgreens stepped up and said they're going to start rationing baby food. Big story spreading out there all over the place. There's just one product in terms of people trying to control food and commodities that are out here. When you look at the companies themselves, they said they've ramped up production. They're not quite sure why this has been sparked. It's not because there was a lack of ingredients in the processing plant. No, that's not the case. It's because other people have decided to put this in motion, just like everything else that you're living through. Just like the boats that are stretched out over the horizon on the west coast still. And people just keep pushing on like nothing's happening. When people finally decide to make a stand, it may be too late. Shelves may be absolutely empty and nothing to be found anywhere. And that's going to be their fault. We haven't seen a rise of the people in this country in a long time outside of some staged BLM fake protests. Where's the real at? Where's the people that truly care act like you're scared to be on some list when everybody's on a list? Where's all the people that took an oath to defend and protect this country? Where you at? Am I talking people that are ready to hop on a plane and go kill innocent people in another country? I'm talking about handling business right here on the home front where corruption is seething. Where you at? Join me in the live streams as we discuss this issue and a whole lot more. You'll find links below and hit that subscribe button for more. It's been Dabu7. Much love. Did you know you could... All right, Shalom. And um, yeah, that was pretty much what Dabu7 was stating, man. And... Um, I like that this comment that this individual just made, actually, um, he's actually on point. Let's listen to what he said. This is a guy by the name of Marvin Young. He said, what if all the zombies in the movies are actually regular people eating whatever food they can find? Now, you're actually on point because it's going to actually go into that. Or people eating people, you know, cannibalism, etc. Because of the lack of food, all right? He says humans are food in desperate times, you see? So he's going, he's basically going into cannibalism, which is actually going to happen, all right? Walking Dead was a good example. It showed a lot of scenes where people were eating people. You had people doing cannibalism on that show. It says chew on that for Z minute, meaning for a minute. And that's, he's actually kind of, he's actually correct on that. 
cannibalism is going to be one of the main things in that time. All right. And this is exactly why you want to be seeking your power. All right. Now, when you look up man-made famine, what is a man-made famine? Because everything is set up by the elites. All right. And the Lord is the one that's in control of all of these things while it's happening. All right. Because these prophecies have to come to pass so Yahweh Shai can come back. All right. And um, this is all happening by the elites. It says, what is a man-made famine? Because it is a man-made famine. They got all the boats stocked with food way out in the middle of the ocean. They haven't even been dri driven to the land yet. They haven't been, they've been sitting out, them boats have been sitting out there since 2020, 2021. They got boats out there sitting out there with food supply and etc. It's going into man-made famines. This is man, this is what you call man-made famines. What is a man-made famine? It says more often than not, man-made famines involve human agents wreaking havoc on process of food production. And that's exactly what is happening right now. Man-made famines, man. It says this includes intentional destruction of crops, seeds, agricultural equipment, supplies, such as fertilizers. And this is exactly what is happening right now. Man-made famines, man. Let's get a precept out. Jeremiah 30 and 5. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Right. We're not in a time of peace. All right. You got fam you got you got man-made famines happening. A famine is about to take place in the US and it's gonna affect a lot of people. This is gonna lead into civil and unrest. All right. This is going into that word uh sedition, man. All right. Sedition is what it's going into, man. All right. It says, as ye know and see whether a man doeth travail with child and a man doesn't travail with child, a woman travails. All right. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his lawns as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness, feeble and weak. Because when the time comes where no one is allowed to go to the stores anymore and the shelves is completely empty. And there's only little remnants of food left. It's going to be like Black Friday all over the world. Just how people was grabbing and punching people out over the cheapest uh, TV equipment. People going to be doing that in that time of gathering whatever they can grab. People going to be punching people out, killing people. Fights going to be breaking out. People going to be getting killed, etc. In that time. it's going to Crime is going to increase Never before, never before seen on earth. Crime is going to be that high of a level. All right. And you, you people ain't going to have nowhere to hide. You Jakes that's worldly right now. You women that don't need a man. You're going to be the ones feeble and weak. You're going to be bugged out because you're not going to know what to do. All right. You're going to be paleness, feeble and weak. You're not going to know what to do. All right. Verse seven. Alice for that day is great. So that none is like it because the time that we are coming into is going to be a global thing. It's not going to just be just here in America. It's going to be global. All right. The global economic collapse. All right. Which is a global thing. It's going to be a global thing. If you think you're going to be able to hike and go into the mountains and escape and try to do all that, you can try. But hey, you still going you still gotta go through Jake to get saved. You gotta go through Jacob trouble. We have to go through Jacob trouble to be refined. All right, because you got Carnal Jakes right now that got uh, guns stacked up. They got military boots right now. They got hiking boots. They got all this stuff stocked up right now, thinking that they are gonna get ready for that. But hey, if you ain't got your how about Shima Shai with you, you can have all that equipment. If you ain't got your how about Shima Shai with you, you are gonna be a messed up individual. It says it is even a time of Jacob's trouble. And that's the time that is we're getting ready to come into. All right. Never before seen on earth. Because this is going to be a global thing. All right. It says, but he shall be saved out of it. And this is talking about the elect, which we're hoping to be. But we got to go through Jacob's trouble first. We all got to go through Jacob's trouble before we can be saved. All right. We got to go through Jacob's trouble. This is why the elders... And apostles of Great Millstone have been telling us for years to fast, pray, fast, pray. Because you're going to have to have faith. And if you're an individual that lack faith, you better ask the Lord to increase you in the faith right now. Because the time is going to come 
what you're going to you're going to only have is faith. All right. So you want to you want to uh, get busy on that right now. Start building up in the faith, man, because that's all you're going to have in that time. All right. You know, so you want to be um, getting this truth as much as possible. This is second address nine and one. This is second address nine and one. And this is why the elders and apostles are great millstone on down to the sincere brothers like ourselves. We're examining and looking at the things that are taking place around us. We're observing the things that are taking place around us. It says he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Measure thou the time diligently in itself. All right. The elders and apostles are great millstone on down to the sincere buzz like ourselves. We're being those righteous newscasters. We're looking at the things that are taking place on Monster Earth. Even if it's way out in the Middle East, that still, we still have to measure. We're measuring the time. We're still showing you an example of what's going to happen here. Like China right now, they don't have no food over there. They over there fighting and scavenging over the or the remnants of the food that's left there. All right. It says, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Right. So we measuring the times diligently in itself, man. We're looking at the things that are taking place around us, man. This is Romans. Uh. Uh. I think it's. Uh. Mm. Romans 13 and 11, Salakia. <clears throat> this is Romans 13 and 11. It says, And that knowing the time, that now is a high time to wake up out of sleep. It really is a time, high time to wake up out of sleep now. All right? There's things that's taking place right now. You Jakes are still thinking everything is normal. That's crazy. It says, for now is salvation nearer than we believe. Right. Salvation. Our salvation is nearer than we believe. Look at the things that's taking a place right now amongst the earth, man. All right. Scarcity of food. All right. Food prices is rising. Gas is going up to five bucks. Six bucks. And it never went up to no five bucks in Las Vegas, man. The highest gas ever went when I was out here. The highest it ever went was, I'll say, four dollars. All right, that's a max. That's the highest it ever ever went. I'll say four dollars. All right, that's the highest it ever went, and then it will go back down to like two something in the summer. Now, I mean in the winter, it goes down to two something in the in the winter. Now that's just been five bucks for the past three months, two months. It's been five bucks. Damn, there's six dollars. That's not normal, man. There's nothing changing. There's, that's not normal. That is not normal, man. All right. So there's a lot of things that's that's taking place on the earth right now. And you want to be seeking the Lord while you still can. All right. And we're going to go straight to the main point. This is uh second address 15, 14. Woe to the world and them that the world are in. Verse 15 for the sword and their destruction draw off nine. And one people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands. And that's what's going to take place. Because people is going to be fed up with this American system. That American dream is going to go to American disaster because they're going to tear that shit apart. And they're going to take matters into their own hands. The so-called citizens here are going to rise up against the rulers. All right. And that's what is coming up. That's what is taking place. Civil and unrest. Verse 16. For there shall be sedition. And we're going to get the meaning of that word sedition, man. Let's get that word uh, sedition. Sedition. It says rebellion, uprising, revolt, facetation, fact, fact, factious. It says commotion in the state. All right. Concerted attempt to overthrow civil authority. And that's what people are going to do. They're not they're, they're going to be rebellious against it. All right. It says violent strife between faction, civil or religious disorder. Riot. Rebellious rebelliousness against authority. And that's what's going to happen. When you go into the scriptures of sedition, that is what is going to happen. Civil and unrest. It says, for there shall be sedition among men invading one another. And they shall not regard the kings nor their princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their, in their power. Right. People are not going to listen to the, 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 the government and everyone here. They're going to rise up against it. So when this happens, 
That's when they're going to send out what? Martial law. And this is what is getting into it. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able. Because martial law. They're going to send the military out to, to try to gain control of the of the uh, 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 the people here. The so-called citizens here of the United States of America. They're going to try to, you know, uh, uh, um, try to get them to relax. And they're not. It's going to be like a damn uh, 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 George Floyd event. But worse. Ten times worse than that. All right. So they're going to have to send out the military to stop everything again. And people are not going to be able to go into the city. This is going into martial law, the new world order. All right. It says, verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid because the things that you that people are going to see is going to blow their fucking mind. They're going to see they're going to be looking at this shit as damn. Am I in the am I in the game GTA five? Because that's how it's going to be. All right. Am I in damn near uh, Call of Duty? Is this Modern Warfare? You're going to be seeing things that they never before be seen. They only saw that in a video game or in a movie. But it's going to be real life. They're going to be closing their eyes, opening their eyes. And it's going to still, they're still going to see the same exact thing when they blink their eyes. They're going to be thinking they're dreaming, but it's going to be real in front of their face. It's going to blow their mind. Verse 19, it says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. And this is what's going to happen. Your own best friend who you grew up in the sandbox with. It's going to betray you because it's going to be every man for itself. It's going to be about survival. All right. It says, but he shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and the great tribulation. Famine of the food. Famine of food. All right. Famine of food is going to affect a lot of people. It's going to bug a lot of people out. All right. It's going to bug a lot of people out. And in that time, that's why you want to be. Building up in the faith as the elders and apostles of great millstone said to do. Because when this time come, if you're not strong in the spirit, you're going to be a messed up individual. You're either going to give in to the damn coupon or you're going to be set up to be destroyed. The Lord is going to let you die. Bad judgment is going to be freaking ray, rise on the exalted on a high level, man. All right. And you want to be praying and seeking the Lord. So, hey, man, I just want to do a lesson on this. Lord willingness, that's what's edifying. I want to give honors and glorious praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahashai, Bahashim Kakodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. All right. Because those are the men who we learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I'm your brother, Mashiach Arazaka, from the service of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. Until the next time, I say, Shalom. And Lord willingness, that's what was edifying. Shalom.